All right, I'm gonna get started. Well, obviously a um, big win for us today, a must win. And um, the guys responded. Um, can't uh, lie to you after a heartbreaking loss yesterday and knowing that they were gonna start pre-lip today. I went to bed a little bit concerned. Um, you know, this left-hander, you know, was throwing 94 miles an hour. He's one of the top pitchers in the league. I, I was, you know, I wasn't surprised they started him because the coach told me on Friday that, that he was going to pitch this weekend. And, um, you know, he looked great against three of our hitters in the first inning. You know, he struck out Trey to start the game and he had two other strikeouts in the first inning, but obviously Dylan's double and, and, um, uh, Doty's home run gave us a big lift in the first inning there. And, um, you know, I, 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 as far as I was concerned, I thought we were facing Sandy Koufax. You know, everybody had talked about this guy so much. And I, I he very easily could have gone out there and dominated us for four or five innings. And it would have really put us in a, in a bind. But our guys rose up and, and got us the two runs right away. And we really never stopped hitting the whole day. What an awesome offensive performance by our entire team the entire day. We had some huge hits, some big home runs. We ran the bases great. I thought Drew Bianco put on a clinic as, at second base today. He looked like a gold glover. Uh, there was a play about the sixth or seventh inning where he charged a ball and got the out at second base. I think it was when Wilson hit a ball, he aggressively charged the ball and got the out. I thought that was the biggest play of the game, right? Right at, when the top of the order was coming in and the game was still very much in doubt. Um, you know, Mikhail was awesome. I was hoping he'd give us five innings and, you know, his fifth inning was his best inning. And I tried to talk him into a sixth inning, but he, he was really gassed. And fortunately for us, he, he was very honest with me. He's, you know, shows his maturity. He just told me that he was, he was really drained. And so we made the move and took him out and Garrett Edwards battled through a couple of innings and, and then Ty Floyd finished it up. But Mitch Sanford came off the bench, got a big hit for us. I mean, it was really a lot of guys that, that really contributed to this victory today. And, it was good to win a series at home finally. You know, our, our schedule at home this year was really brutal. And uh, I'm glad we were able to win this final series, especially for the seniors and the great crowds that came out all weekend. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Paul. Uh, Mikhail came out on fire today. I mean, he's like struck out the first five or six. And then you all had homers in each of the first three innings. I guess the, the quick start really got you all going. You know, I just told our team, you know, they've really been amazing this year. The season's been such a grind, and we've had so many heartbreaking losses. Um, you know, we've been walked off of games on the road in the SEC. We've lost some one-run heartbreaking games. And I worry about, you know, the next day, and these kids just always seem to respond. They come out the next day, and they put it behind them, and they come out and play a great game. Mikhail was the leader today. Again, he, he came out and – Right up, right from the first inning, you know, dominated and struck out batters, made some big pitches early in the game. And even even after he gave up the, the two runs in the third inning, I thought he even though he gave up a run in the fourth, I thought he uh, pitched very, very well in the fourth. And then the fifth inning, he had a very quick inning there. He, he gave us exactly what we needed. I was hoping he'd give us five strong innings. And that's exactly what he did. Paul, you said you'd gone to bed a little bit concerned last night. Was there anything that you saw early today that maybe gave you some confidence going into the game or just sort of happened organically like that? Yeah, well, it, like I said, you know, the, I went to bed concerned because I didn't know if we were facing Koufax today. You know, this kid, I'd heard so much about him. And, and then he goes out there and strikes out Trey Morgan in the first inning on 94 mile an hour fastballs. And I could see why there was so much hype about him. You know, he, Last year in the shortened season, he pitched 20 plus innings, never gave up a run. People are talking about him being the number one pick in the draft in the 22 draft. And uh, I, I could see why he's, re he's really, he's special. And uh, but Dylan, you know, the first pitch to the second batter of the game, he hits one off the wall in right center field. And then uh, he strikes out uh, Dugas and, and, and then Doty steps up and hits one into the stands. So that, that kind of, made me feel better and then I wasn't all that unhappy when they decided to only have him pitch one inning you know we we um, we did a good job against all the bullpen arms that they brought in so you know I, I wasn't as concerned after that you could see that our kids really came to play today and they 
it just they, they played their they played their hearts out today. Everybody did, you know, the the whole team. Everybody they just played so hard and and uh, played so well offensively, defensively, pitching wise. It was just a total team effort. That was as solid a all around game as we played all year. Paul, do you feel like the whole team uh, approached this weekend as if this was like an elimination series as far as your NCAA tournament hopes are concerned? I, I, I felt that way. You know, I, I told him a couple of weeks ago that we needed to play every weekend that way. And uh, and we have been. You know, we played that way at Auburn. We played this that way this weekend. Um, we're going to play that way next weekend. Um, you know, I, I, I told the kids that, I felt that we could really go on a roll. We, we At one point, we had 12 games left in the season, and I told them that three weeks to go, four weeks, uh, four games in the, each week. And I felt like we had a chance to win every game. And we've lost two of the eight games. Uh, you know, so we're, we've won both series. We won both midweek games. We've lost one of each weekend series. It's hard to sweep a series. Um, but we've won six of the eight, and now we've got four games remaining in the regular season schedule. We have Northwestern State coming in on Tuesday. It's a big game for us. And then we'll go to College Station and, and you know, let it rip. You know, we'll leave all, we're going to leave it all out on the field and do the very best we can and, and hopefully have success over there and punch a spot in Hoover. And hopefully we can, you know, enhance our resume as best we can to, to put ourselves in a good position for an NCAA bid. You know, if we can win that series at Texas A&M, we'll have won half of our of our SEC series, and hopefully, you know, that'll be good enough. We'll see, with a good showing in Hoover as well. Uh, Coach, after seeing your offense go stale yesterday, how does it feel to see them uh, keep applying that pressure uh, later in the games and just keep the foot on the uh, gas pedal? Yeah, that was that was a big difference between both first two games of the series and today you know we started fast in all three games but the la the first two games the middle innings we did go stale this this game we kept the pressure on the entire game throughout the entire game we, we just kept hitting and, and that was great to see um you know it, it takes a lot of pressure off your pitching staff where they don't feel like every pitch might cost them the game when you when you just keep putting the pressure on the other team and I, I thought that's what we did. Some, when it, somebody mentioned that we hit homered in the first three innings, and I thought that was huge. The one inning, I think Drew Bianco let off the inning with a home run, and I thought that, that was really important. After we had had a good inning, the next inning we come out right away, hit another home run, and just it, it kind of sent a message that we were here to play the entire game. We were going to play nine full innings today. That's exactly what we did. All right. That's all for Coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, y'all can start with questions for Mikhail. Come on. Hey, Mikhail, um, so obviously this could very well be the last time you pitched out there today, uh, you know, being a senior and whatnot. I mean, just to could talk about kind of your emotions, I guess, maybe before the game and kind of how you were able to settle in there. Because, I mean, you struck out, I think, five of your first six batters and pretty much off the races from there. Just just talk about that for me. Well, before the game, uh... I knew this this could might this might be my last game pitching at all. It just meant meant so much for, uh, to me because of all the ups and downs that I've had. Uh, really good times uh, making runs in playoffs and SEC tournaments. Just having fun with the boys, uh, being able to, to go out there, and enjoy the atmosphere with the boys. So I was I was really locked in before the game. Coming into the game, uh, uh, I, I just felt like I had a, a chip on my shoulder and I still have something to prove. So continuing on, I'm, I'm going to keep showing that every time I step on the mound. Can you tell Ashley we can't hear you? Can I speak louder? It's like cutting in and out. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's going in and out. Um. That sounded like a really great answer. I don't guess you could recap it again for us, could you? Okay, I will. Thank you. Can y'all hear me? Is, is it better now? Okay. Um, before the game, I, I just 
I was so locked in because it meant so much to me, uh, knowing that this might be my my last game uh, playing at home for LSU. So, and and going out there and and enjoying these moments with the boys, like it's 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 a really good feeling. So, um, going going forward, I I just feel like. I have to go out there and pitch with a, a chip on my shoulder and, and I have something to prove every time I step on the mound. So continuing on, that's that's what I'm gonna do. We could hear you, by the way, so that's much better. Um, was there anything else that made you think that maybe just, this is obviously a total team effort. Was there anything that happened today or last night that made you think that this was coming after uh, you know losing yesterday's game? But could you repeat that? Yeah, of course. Was there anything that you saw or anything that y'all did that made you think that that a game like this was coming for you guys? Uh, just just seeing the energy in a dugout from last game transfer to, to this game. We still had a lot of fight in us. We, we were having really good at bats, getting deep into counts. Obviously, uh, everything doesn't work out as you plan it, but uh, they did have really good at bats and, and, and kept the fight in us. So. Moving on to the next game, I knew I had to, to uh, set the tone, uh, make sure to, to have a really quick inning and, and, and uh, bring the energy. And I feel like that transferred pretty well. Mikhail, going into this game, I mean, did this feel like the season could kind of hinge on a game like this? I mean, if you guys lose one of these last two series, it could, you know, ruin your postseason chances. Did that feel like you know, with the situation going into this type of matchup? I knew it, uh, I, I knew where we stand with, uh, with the rankings and um, our record right now. But I didn't let that that uh, play its factor into how I was, I was going to go out there and pitch. Or I, didn't, I didn't let that affect my mindset going out there and pitching. Uh, just like I feel like that it, it didn't affect how – opposition players felt or, or any of the other pitches. Mikhail, you talk about having a chip on your shoulder. Where does that come from? Just uh, uh, a lot of experience being looked at as, as the real guy, as somebody that d- doesn't have what it takes. Um, a lot of a lot of outings being hit around and and working on my, my craft and perfecting it, I, I feel like uh, that's where it comes from. Any more questions for Mikhail? Thank y'all. Thank y'all. All right, y'all can start, y'all can start with questions for Gio. So Gio, where did this power suddenly come from today? I have no idea. Um, I, I have no idea. I guess it's just, you know, putting the right swing on the ball that was thrown. So glad that I could have done that twice today. Have you ever hit two home runs in a game before? Or is that the first time? I think I've done it once over a summer ball game, but it's it's been a long time. Yeah, Gio, was it, was it a, a, I guess, a deal where they're hitting is contagious and everybody went up there and was – just killing it. You just feel like, I mean, I mean, everybody's into it. So am I. Yeah, for sure. Hitting is definitely contagious. And that's one thing we kind of talk about all the time. You know, we kind of got it started real early and we really tried to focus on the, the middle innings of this game. We knew that the middle innings were going to be what it took to win this game. So just being relentless and not giving up the entire team. So I think we really did a good job of that tonight. How, uh, how good did it feel to, to play such a big part in this game? This was such an important game for you guys. You knew it going in that you, that you had to win this one. And to, to come through like this, what, what were your feelings? Um, I think we knew that it was going to be a, a big a big win for us that we needed to accomplish. We knew we had a, had a hit for sure. You know, we've been kind of just a little dull the last two days when it came to hitting, just not getting hot the entire game. So I think, you know, not just me, but everyone behind me and in front of me just did a great job of, Staying hot, staying on the fence, cheering on, and just kind of keeping that uh, mojo going the whole game.
I mean, how important did it feel for y'all coming into this one, knowing, you know, everything that's at stakes in terms of getting the NCAA tournament? Did y'all have it on the, your minds as well? Yeah, we actually had a few of that on our minds. So, you know, thought about Hoover. Hoover was on our mind, um, the NCAA tournament. But most importantly, it was, you know, potentially our seniors' last home series, last game for our seniors. So definitely going out and playing for them is a big part of today's game and today's win especially. I guess kind of speaking of your seniors, I mean, what's it been like to watch Mikhail kind of have a resurgence here over these last month or so? I mean, he's really just been kind of a, a huge critical part for you guys solidifying that third starter spot. It's It's been awesome. You know, I'm out there in center, so I get to watch him throw, and I'm just glad I'm not on the other end of him. You know, I'm glad he's on my side. You know, his pitches move so much, and he has such good composure and poise up there on the mound. So I definitely think that that Sunday starter spot is for him. So I'm glad he's – He's doing well for us. Jimmy, was there anything that happened either yesterday or before this game that gave you guys confidence coming into this one or to maybe set the tone for how you were going to approach it? Um, I think not much kind of changed our mindset. Our mindset's kind of the same for each game, but it's just really emphasizing the importance of each game. You know, we got to really secure these wins. We got to take care of those middle innings and not – lose the energy that we start with and not finish without any energy. You know, we got to keep that energy high. We got to keep the dugout popping. We got to keep those bats hot. So just take controlling our controllables and doing what we can. Any more questions for Gio? One more if I could. Okay. We, we talked about Mikhail. Also, I mean, Drew Bianca, these are two guys who had the big, for a big stretch of the season, we weren't contributing a lot. How important is it to suddenly have two guys who are p playing so well here down the stretch? I think it's awesome. You know, I think our whole lineup, even with guys that are, you know, come in for relief or guys on the bench, those guys can do damage too. I mean, Drew's, you know, I've always had my faith in him. He's been a good friend of mine for these last three years. And, you know, I know he's got a great bat and he's got a great glove in the field. He's definitely improved at second base a lot. So I love having him there. And then even with other guys on the bench, like Mitch came in, and, you know, got those RBIs like it was nothing. So I love I love everyone else on this team, and I have full faith in all, all of them. Glad to see them produce for sure. Is that all? Thank you all. Thank you. All right, y'all can get started with questions for Drew. Yeah, Drew, uh, it looked like today that was probably the most fun you've had in a couple of years in a game. I mean, as far as hitting and just, just feeling, it looks like this, like you're very relaxed and having a lot of fun. Yeah, um, definitely been feeling uh, really relaxed at the plate. Just confidence really is the main thing. And uh, just having fun, like you said, um, and enjoying the game, playing it like how I used to play it in high school and having fun. And the results have been good. So hopefully I can keep it going. Did the, the, the home run loosen you up some, getting the early home run? That kind of set the tone for you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always good to get a hit your first bat, and especially a big one like that. And just uh, we knew we were going to have to score a lot of runs today, and uh, we scored some of the first, and uh, I wanted to keep it going. Yesterday we scored a lot early, and then we did, really didn't score any the rest of the game. So uh, uh, Coach Eddie was talking about how we need to uh, keep scoring every inning, and uh, so I uh, wanted to go up there and – get it started. Uh, I didn't want to hit a homer. I just wanted to get on base, but I uh, got in a good count and uh, put a good swing on the ball. When did Coach Smith talk about that? Uh, he said, he's been preaching that, I mean, all weekend. He was like, uh, down the stretch, we're going to have to come back and win games. And then today he was like, uh, let's uh, – he's like, he made – especially after the game yesterday, after we came out hot and then kind of cooled off and then heated back up in the uh, at the end, he was trying to say, uh, hey, let's go out there and uh, – win the beginning innings, but most importantly, let's win the middle innings and let's not uh, just settle settle down. And once we get a lead, let's keep it going, keep it going. And because this Alabama team can really hit. And uh, so we knew we were going to score a lot of runs today. You, yourself, you obviously, you've had a resurgence here down the stretch. So is Mikhail. What has it been like for you two as guys who have been through ups and downs to your career to really do, doing a lot to contribute here near the, the home stretch? 
Um, yeah, um, I think if you ask me and Mikhail, we would like to have been doing this all year, but uh, we're glad we're doing it right now at the right time and heating up. Uh, our whole team's heating up at the right time. And, uh, I mean, whatever our roles were going to be down the stretch, uh, we were just going to be great teammates and try to win some games. But uh, both me and him are getting hot at the right time, and it feels good. And uh, especially having some, uh, some us being veterans and helping out some of the younger guys that have basically been carrying us the whole year. Any other questions? Thank you all. Appreciate it.